Hi, this is Dr. Jim Anderson from Anderson Podiatry Center for Nerve Pain, here to talk to you today about uh, medications that people commonly take for uh, neuropathy and restless leg uh, symptoms. And a lot of our patients that we see come in with these medications, and a lot of our patients want to get off the medications, and, and in fact, that's our main goal here. Uh, if you want to be put on medications for your nerve pain, you know, we probably are not the people that you would want to see because we are counter to that. We actually want to do just the opposite. And in many cases, we're able to get patients off the medications or at least reduce the dosage that they use. So the primary drugs that I'm going to speak about today are Lyrica and Neurontin. Uh, you'll hear these a lot. Lyrica is really marketed heavily on TV. Uh, you'll see a lot of Lyrica ads. Uh, very similar uh, drugs. Uh, Lyrica, another name for Lyrica would be uh, pregabalin, and another name for Neurontin you'll hear would be gabapentin. Uh, they're safe drugs to take, uh, but they have some bad side effects. Probably the biggest thing we're concerned about is weight gain. Uh, Lyrica uh, and Neurontin, on average, you might gain 10 to 15 pounds. Uh, you can also have swelling in your hands. Uh, and feet, but probably the worst thing for a lot of people that come in, they just don't like the spaciness. They have this spacey feeling, they just don't feel like themselves. And a lot of patients just don't want to take the medication once they experience those uh, side effects. And it's interesting that we really don't quite understand how these drugs work. Uh, they are anti-seizure, anti-convulsant drugs. That was the original purpose of them. So they work in the central nervous system in your brain and actually, uh, change the chemical structure in the brain to where you don't send signals, uh, neural, neural signals as much uh, in between brain cells. So uh, that's about all we know. It just affects the way uh, that you transmit uh, 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 impulses in the brain. And in and, and, and that way it affects how you perceive uh, the pain. So definitely there's a place for this. Uh, I think it does help some people. Uh, but again, there's some bad side effects that I think you need to be aware of. So please uh, visit our website at andersonpodiatrycenter.com or give us a call uh, if you'd like to learn more about the other options that we can offer here. Thank you.